This is the Music History Today podcast for August 20th. On today's show, Voyager 2 launches with a record on board, but no needle. Go figure. The 1812 Overture premieres, as does Princess Graffiti Bridge. First up, though, on this date in 1920, the first radio station in America started broadcasting. It was WWJ in Detroit, Michigan. In 1967, it was announced that Dolby Labs had created a process concerning noise reduction that made it possible for people to use blank cassettes. In 1972, Stax Records put on a concert to remember the anniversary of the Watts riots in Los Angeles, California. In 1977, the Voyager 2 space probe with a gold record on board launched into outer space. Of course, aliens will probably look at the record like kids do when you show them a cassette, and they'll probably just use the stupid thing for a frisbee. Anywho, in 1979, singer Vicki Carr married businessman Michael Nilsson. In 1987, Lindsey Buckingham left Fleetwood Mac for the first time, but not the last time. In 1987, same day, Metallica played a secret show at London, England's 100 Club. In 1988, two people were killed during a crowd surge at a Guns N' Roses performance at the Monsters of Rock Festival. In 1992, Sting married his wife, Trudy Styler. In 1999, Fatboy Slim, a.k.a. Norman Cook, married TV host Zoe Ball. In 2008, the group Fun was formed. In 2012, Green Day partnered with the creators of Angry Birds for a special 10-level version of the game, with Green Day as the Green Pigs. Nice touch. In 2013, One Direction's concert film This Is Us premiered. In 2013, same day, singer Iva Milanovic married actor Maximilian Schell. In 2016, The Tragically Hip played their final concert. In 2018, the Eagles album, Their Greatest Hits, 1971 to 1975, was certified to have sold 38 million copies, making it the biggest selling album of all time in America. Thriller by Michael Jackson was still second in America with 33 million copies sold. However, Thriller still remains the biggest selling album of all time worldwide. In classical music in 1795, Joseph Haydn returned to Vienna, Austria after having lived in London, England for a number of years. In 1828, Giacchino Rossini premiered his opera Le Comte Ori. And in 1882, Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture premiered. Albums that were released on August 20th include in 1975 when Harmonica released Deluxe, in 1976, Kiss did a twofer. They released Kiss Destroys Anaheim Part 1 and Kiss Destroys Anaheim Part 2. In 1979, Bob Dylan released Slow Train Coming. In 1983, Hart released Passion Works. In 1985, Asia released Astra. In 1990, Queensryche released their popular album Empire. Black Sabbath released TYR and Prince released the soundtrack to the movie Graffiti Bridge. In 1991, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts released Notorious and the Spin Doctors released Pocket Full of Kryptonite, another big album. In 1996, Luis Miguel released Nada Es Igual. In 1998, the boards of Canada released Music Has the Right to Children. In 2002, Black Sabbath released Past Lives, Dark Tranquility released Damage Done, The Black Crows released Live, and Berlin released Voyeur. And in 2013, the Tedeschi Trucks Band released Made Up Mind. Singles that were released in the UK on August 20th include in 1965 when the Rolling Stones released Satisfaction and the McCoys released Hang On Sloopy. Also in 1965, Barry Maguire released Eve of Destruction. In 1982, Africa Bombada and the Soul Sonic Force released Planet Rock. And in 1983, UB40 released Red Red Wine, a remake of a Neil Diamond song. Meanwhile, in America, in 1955, Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released Mystery Train and I Forgot to Remember to Forget. In 1964, The Temptations released Girl. 
1965, Gary Lewis and the Playboys released Everybody Loves a Clown. In 1979, Bob Dylan released Gotta Serve Somebody and David Bowie released Look Back in Anger. And in 2007, the Eagles released How Long. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 20th include a couple of legends. The first one being the lead singer of Led Zeppelin and also a rather remarkable solo career, Mr. Robert Plant. Also, composer, conductor, and virtually everything, including the voice of chef in South Park, Mr. Isaac Hayes. Also, singer Demi Lovato, Dimebag Daryl of Pantera, country music singer Jim Reeves, Phil Lynott of Thin Lizzy, rap legend KRS-One, rapper Big Mo, Fred Durst of Limp Bizkit, singer John Hyatt, Rudy Gatlin of the Gatlin Brothers, Doug Feger of The Knack, James Pankow of Chicago, rapper No Cap, singer Ha Ha, rapper Kirko Bangs, Ralph Hutter of Kraftwerk, drummer Uncle John Turner of Johnny Winter's backup band, John Povey of The Pretty Things, Dave Brock of Hawkwind, John Lantry of The Honeycombs, country music singer Justin Tubb, Sneaky Pete Kleinow of The Flying Burrito Brothers, Paul Roby of The Platters, drummer Frank Cap. Trombonist Frank Rossellino, jazz singer Joya Shirell, Sky Saxon of The Seeds, singer Jamie Cullum, Rick Olsom of Berlin, trumpet player Enrico Rava, session drummer Terry Clark, bassist John Clayton Jr., folk singer Langhorn Slim, clarinetist Billy Amstel, and band leader Jack Teagarden. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 20th include composer Nicholas Gigault, who passed away in 1707 at the age of 80. Composer Johann Edenbenz passed away in 1799 at the age of 37. Composer Jan Van Hall passed away in 1813 at the age of 74. Organist Richard Wainwright passed away in 1825 at the age of 68. Composer Philippe Riot passed away in 1856 at the age of 80. Composer Louis Varney passed away in 1908 at the age of 64. Composer Arthur Coquard passed away in 1910 at the age of 64. Composer Waldemir von Bosnern passed away in 1931 at the age of 64. Composer David Deloyd passed away in 1948 at the age of 65. Composer Rudolf Moser passed away in 1960 at the age of 68. Composer Ivan Yurko passed away in 1978 at the age of 51. Singer Joe Dassin passed away in 1980 at the age of 41. Trumpet player Thad Jones passed away from cancer in 1986 at the age of 63. Saxophonist John E. Gilmore passed away in 1995 at the age of 63. Paul Foster of the Soul Stirrers passed away in 1995 at the age of 75. Pedal steel guitarist Red Rhodes passed away in 1995 at the age of 64. Rio Reiser of the group Ton Stein Sherbin passed away in 1996 at the age of 46. Singer Raquel Resteni passed away in 1998 at the age of 82. Bobby Sheehan of the group The Blues Travelers passed away from a drug overdose in 1999 at the age of 31. Drummer Christoph Rakowski of the group Vader passed away in 2005 at the age of 35. Singer Claude Blanchard passed away in 2006 at the age of 74. Larry Nichel of the group Bread passed away from heart issues in 2009 at the age of 69. Pianist Marion McPartland of Marion McPartland's Piano Jazz passed away in 2013 at the age of 95. Opera singer Richard Angus passed away in 2013 at the age of 71. 
Pianist Irving Fields passed away in 2016 at the age of 101. Matt Roberts of the group Three Doors Down passed away from a prescription drug overdose in 2016 at the age of 38. Tom Searle of the group The Architects passed away from cancer in 2016 at the age of 28. Rapper Kid Cali was shot and killed in 2016 at the age of 30. Composer Wilhelm Kilmeyer passed away in 2017 at the age of 89. Violinist Fredel Lack passed away in 2017 at the age of 95. Eddie Willis of Motown's house band The Funk Brothers passed away from complications from polio in 2018 at the age of 82. Frankie Benali of the group Quiet Riot passed away from cancer in 2020 at the age of 68. Jazz double bassist Peter Ind passed away in 2021 at the age of 93. And country music singer-songwriter Tom T. Hall passed away in 2021 at the age of 85. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 21st, when in 2020, BTS released Dynamite. <laughs> 